Hello everyone. In this introduction to C Sharp video, we are going to take a look at detecting button clicks from our mouse. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So much in the same way that we did with the key presses in the last video, there are two major ways that you can use a mouse to detect input. So I'm going to go back into our interaction script that we used in the last video. And the first one that we are going to deal with is just same standard as this, using an if statement to detect if we are pressing the mouse. So just like those uh, key inputs, we can have if and in brackets, still dealing with the input dot get mouse. And already after, after I type the M, we can see there we've got get mouse button, get mouse button down, get mouse button up. And it works the same way as it does with the key presses. So if we want to detect if we have pressed the mouse button down, for example, we can use get mouse button down. Now, this is where things get not complicated, but they can be a little bit difficult to understand, especially to new people who've never used anything like this before. So we now put one of three numbers in here, either a zero, a one, or a two. Now the zero represents the left mouse button, the one represents the right mouse button, and the two will represent the middle mouse button, the wheel. So if we click the wheel, we would have to have a two there. So if we want to detect if we're pressing the mouse wheel, we have two. So let's just say we want to detect a left mouse click. We would put zero in there. Then we would close all that out and open the curly brackets. And we could say whatever you want to do in there. So if you, let's say, start a sequence or something with um, a mouse click, then you would put that in here. So this is me just showing that we would have something in here. So if we have the left mouse button, we're gonna reset my integer to zero. So the same principle works once again if we want to do a right mouse click. The exact same line of code, but instead it's going to be a one rather than a zero. So get mouse button down and one. Close it all out, open curly brackets, and then obviously you would just have your normal stuff in there that you want to do. So a right mouse click would make my integer equal to 10. So at this point, you can see that how all of this is working, it's the same standard of an if statement when it comes to entering a key. You just need to make sure that you have the right piece here to say get mouse button down, get mouse button or get mouse button up. So there is another way of doing it, and that is inside an actual method. So I am going to put just above my update method void on mouse and already you can see that we have this filled out for us so we have on mouse over on mouse up on mouse down there's tons of different things to deal with but we are detecting clicks here so we need to say on mouse down which is very useful and then pretty much you have that done because this can technically serve the same function as what this does right here however it will detect anything from the mouse being down, not just, let's say, the left button. So you could go a little bit further here and detect if you are pressing the left, right, uh, middle button, whatever you want to do, but ultimately it will serve the same kind of purpose. So as I said, you can either use the if statement or you can declare an actual method to detect mouse clicks. So I hope that helps. If you want to know any more, leave a comment below. And if you've got any awesome tips on using mouse clicks, you know, cool, inventive ways of doing things, also let me know, because I'd love to hear from you. As I said earlier, don't forget to click subscribe and that little bell icon, because it does help me out, it really does. And I hope to see you in another video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.